Hello. I have to tell you that the world's been so crazy recently. I've been looking for a subject that I could talk about on YouTube uh, that might earn me some money. Now, up to now, I've made no less than five videos in a row, not one of which has had the remotest chance of being monetized on YouTube. It just fell out like that. But I promise you, I shall continue to talk about what I want to talk about, irrespective of YouTube's opinion. And if it's not so lucrative, well, those are the breaks. I, I am also, I have to remind you, on Minds, on BitChute and on Rumble, but I don't get any money from them at all. They're just, they're, at the moment, they're just backups uh, that I can use for preserving my stuff if YouTube decides to close me down. Anyway, as it turns out, having less money is apparently all to the good because all those nice container ships ploughing the high seas to bring Jacob's Creek wine from Australia and electronics from Korea and carved wood doorstoppers from India. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid buying from China, although it is difficult, seeing as we sold them our souls a few years ago. Anyway, goodies from all over the world. And all those containers are stuck in Chinese ports, in, in, in Australian ports, in American ports, in British ports. In fact, well, here's a header from the Telegraph. They're jammed up just about anywhere, anywhere where there's a port. According to the Telegraph, there are floating cities of stranded container ships that have been waiting for the go ahead for the past two years. And they're still unavailable. And that means things will be short for Christmas. No, I'm not talking about those pajamas that arrive two sizes too small from Amazon. I'm referring to stocks of stuff and really, really important things like, well, toys. For instance, Squeaky the Balloon Dino, 80 pounds. A Jiggly Pets Orang Utan at a mere 25 pounds. A Transforming Poor Patroller, whatever that is, but it's a snip at 70 pounds. A Dancing Plastic Penguin, an absolute bargain at 35 pounds. And, oh, I'll find a drum roll for this. A Barbie Dream House, 310 pounds. 310. Well, look, that may seem like a lot, but according to the toy website, this palace of the queen of consumerism comes with party music, coloured lighting options, and a bunk bed that folds down from the wall. Whatever happened to a sock filled with a chocolate bar, an orange, a bag of marbles, and um, a, a cardboard Monopoly game? Oh, those were the good old days, weren't they? Actually, well, we can all stop sneering now because that's what the Christmas presents are going to be if the Jeremiads of the end of the world professional gloomsters turn out to be right. And all those wonderful toys at £310 a kick are stuck in, I don't know what, Lavre. Anyway, the Labour Party and I mean, it struck me that they're going to be in a bit of a problem here. I'm sure they'd really like to blame Boris Johnson for all of this, but I reckon they have a problem with that. You see, I can imagine Sir Keir Starmer, the head of Her Majesty's loyal opposition, 
the Labour Party to you and me, lying awake in his little socialist bed, eyes wide open at two o'clock in the morning, wondering how he can fulminate at Johnson over the dispatch box about these delays and port stickages and calling him out for mismanagement in not having all the crates of stuff from the Far East piled like Lego blocks on the key sides of Liverpool, when he knows that all Johnson has to do is smile sweetly and start admonishing him about carbon footprints and plastic waste and buying from China. And he's straight there up to his neck in deep political doo-doo, isn't he? I mean, Starmer, of course. Johnson does that all on his own. As for all of those kids who follow um, Pippi Longstocking and castigate their parents for not recycling and for driving cars and you stole my childhood. Well, they'll get their wish for a simpler life now, won't they? So this is the goods. There's always a good side to everything. Uh, the only problem is that when they do get up on Christmas morning to find not their plastic Barbie palace with the pool and the slide and the fold-up bed, of course, but a sock with a bar of chocolate, an orange, a bag of marbles and a cardboard Monopoly game, they're going to feel a little peeved, maybe. And when they discover that a lack of turkeys has turned their Christmas dinner into a nut cutlet and a turnip, do you think they're going to sigh with relief at all the good that they've done their planet with their uh, perhaps unplanned self-sacrifice? Or do you think they're going to turn to their parents and snarl? Wait for it. How dare you? Why not treat yourself or a favoured relative or friend to these magnificent examples of merch? The mugs and t-shirts come in the Granny Opteryx design or Grembo with a firearm or the more deadly knitting needles. Go to www.grannyopteryx.com and whatever platform you're watching this on, please click like subscribe and share, share, share.